What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with more content. And today we're going to be covering the Perry Logics EVA smartphone holster and testing it with the Apple iPhone 15 Pro as well as the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing we'll notice here is going to be the minimal or futuristic packaging which features Perry Logic's branding as well as a statement, quality products built on your feedback. Really like that. So let's go ahead and unpackage these holsters. We've got four of them here. And just to give you a bit more information, there are two styles. So we're going to have what I like to call the portrait style. That's what we're unpackaging first. So you can see that we've got a larger and a smaller one. We're going to set that to the side. And then we're going to have what I like to call a landscape option. So you can see the way that it's designed, it's supposed to be used in a different orientation. So we're going to have two sizes of this variation as well. Now I will say that these holsters are designed for larger phones, but we could also use smaller phones, which is why I wanted to use the iPhone 15 Pro that we have here. But I also wanted to use the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Now keep in mind, again, the iPhone 15 Pro is significantly smaller than the S23 Ultra. That being said, if you do have the iPhone 15 Pro Max, you can use the S23 Ultra as a reference in this video. So we're going to set these to the side and I wanna talk more about these holsters. So the first thing you're going to notice here is the Perry Logics branding on each holster. Clean, minimal, I like that name too for some reason. It just sounds really nice. And then this branding is placed on top of a diagonal design that runs along the whole outside of these holsters. Now this is a bit subliminal, but I also like that as well. It almost gives it a faux carbon fiber look. Now there are going to be some differences in that diagonal design pattern for the portrait and the landscape options. The landscape options, it seems like that design continues to run the same direction on the flap as well as the rest of the body. But on the portrait option, it looks like that diagonal design runs one way on the flap and then the other way on the body. And all of this is due to the twill woven fabric. Looks really nice. Now when it comes to holsters, I can't emphasize enough go with a magnetic closure. That's what we're going to have on all these units. Skip the Velcro because the Velcro just becomes a hairy mess and it's just more of an inconvenience to deal with on a regular basis. Now the outside of these holsters is arguably the most important factor here since it provides overall protection for your device, but the inside is going to be important as well. So as we open up here, we're going to have a soft fabric lining. Now if you're wondering, this isn't very thick, it's not padded, so that may be a slight con to you. But overall, it's going to provide good protection. And touching on that magnetic closure just a bit more, it seems like you can just release it for the most part and it goes back into place. This is also a really nice feature and it closes securely. So it takes a little bit of effort to pull up. That's going to provide confidence that the device won't just fall out because the flap just randomly opens. And when it comes to the overall structure of these holsters, we have an EVA design. Now, if you're wondering, we're going to have a bit more flex on the landscape options. And I just think that's because they don't seem to be as reinforced as the portrait options. So if we press on the landscape, you'll see things squish a little bit more. It is a bit firmer on the edges. But if you're looking for the most optimal protection, I would say go with the portrait option. It seems like the corners are a bit more reinforced. So if you drop this, you should have a bit better protection. I also like the coverage on the portrait option a little bit more as well. Regardless, there's going to be some exposure with both of these holsters or any holster because we're going to have some openings on the side for the landscape option and we have openings on the sides for the portrait options. 
But let's flip over here to what would be the belt clip or belt loops. And you'll see we have a metal clip here, really nice. Although I don't use the metal clip much because I prefer to go with the loops because that's a far superior connection to my waist and reduces the chances greatly that I'll lose my whole kit. And the belt loop seemed to have worked very well for me on other Perilogic holsters. I never noticed anything ripping or falling apart. Worst case scenario is that holsters do tend to wear over time and the belt loops may get a little bit distorted or stretched out. But if you're looking for another reason to go with the portrait option and you like secret compartments, we do have a hidden compartment here for a few cards. You can see there is a sample card in here that we can slide in or out. That way, if you wanna carry like an important card, you can carry it right on the holster. Now I will say that if you have this secured with the belt loop, it may be hard to access that card, just something to keep in mind. So let's go ahead and try out the iPhone 15 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra in these holsters. Now I'm going to go with the landscape option first and we're going to start with the iPhone 15 Pro. Now keep in mind, again, this is the smaller device. So I'm going to open the flap here for the landscape option. You can see it's going to try to close on me and we're just going to slide the iPhone 15 Pro inside. That seems to work very well, fits nicely in there. And then we're going to have the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. This is the bigger phone and that's going to fit in there as well. No issues there. They both seem to work really well. Now keep in mind that each holster one is designed for a semi bulky case and then another is designed for a case that is a bit more bulky. But I'm still going to try both in this other landscape option. So again, the iPhone 15 Pro, no issue here, closes nicely, looks really nice, makes for a really nice kit, especially if everything's blacked out. And then we're going to grab the S23 Ultra once again. This is gonna be a little bit tighter of a fit. So I don't think this will, you know, this will go. It'll go, it's gonna be pretty snug. And it still closes fine. So that being said, this option here should be the option for the more bulkier case. Whereas this one fit the S23 Ultra a little bit tighter. So that's more semi bulky. And again, keep in mind, if you do have the iPhone 15 Pro Max, use the S23 Ultra as a reference. But anyways, moving on, we're going to try the portrait options. And I also wanna say, if you're unsure which one to get, go with the option that's for the larger, bulkier case to play it safe. But anyways, moving on, we've got the portrait options here. And it looks like this one here is going to be for the more uh, smaller case that takes up less space. So we're going to try the iPhone 15 Pro in there. Nice, goes in there really smooth. You can see the exposure there. Overall protection is going to be really good. And again, I like the portrait option because it seems more reinforced along the edges due to the stitch design here. But anyways, we're going to try the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, which I'm not sure is going to fit in here. It might be too big for this one. I will say that these holsters do have a bit of stretch to them though, so that they do work a little bit better with bigger phones. And I'm going to press just a little more. So this option is going to be a bit too small for the S23 Ultra. Again, that's clearly going to be the option for the thinner cases there. So I'm going to move on to the bigger option, which should hold the S23 Ultra a little bit better, goes in there with less resistance, and that's going to work perfectly for the S23 Ultra there. So the Perilogix holster, overall this is a recommended buy, whether you have your phone in a case or not. 
But if you have your phone in a case, maybe you want further protection because even these cases can be somewhat expensive. So that is it for today's content. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon, check in out. Yeah.